So you need a lockdown build, but you don't need something that's going to be thrown away next week because 2K made a patch that's going to make the guy obsolete. Well, don't worry. I got you covered. With this build right here, you should be able to go wire to wire playing lockdown, and you're not going to have any issues. And let me tell you, wasting VC is not going to be fun this year because it looks like it's going to take almost 300 grand to make a bill and max him out. And like I said, don't do like me. When you get, if you get the game, if you haven't gotten the game yet, make sure if you're going to buy VC, buy the $100 VC pack and then you get the 450 so you get the free 50 instead of doing what I did and buying the two $50 packs and I just got 400 you understand what I'm saying so make sure y'all do that man if you're planning to do it and not grind it out if you're gonna grind it out kudos to you but I promise y'all this build will be relevant all year and I'm gonna tell you why it's relevant right now more than any other time there's gonna be in the year and like I said we're gonna go through this thing I'm gonna show you why and I'm gonna show you why he's patch proof because if you if they patch something that patches this bill, then the guards that you're going to have to play against, they're going to be patched as well. So, like I said, if you don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video and uh, because that helps us get the video out, helps us get closer to that also covered at 100K. And without further ado, let's just get this video underway. Now, y'all already know the basics of the stuff, man. I made him point guard, making whatever hand you want to and whatever jersey number you want to. Uh, Zero Crew is in the house. I made him. 6'7", 190, 74 wingspan. You can adjust the weight a little bit, but be careful when you move anything on this guy because if you move anything, you might lose something that I have here, and I have everything right here where I want it to be, and I got it for a reason. So if you go too, you can go down on the weight a little bit, and you might get a little speed back, but... If you go, it, it, like right now, you got you got 87 speed or whatever. You got all that stuff. You can get all these thresholds, but the thresholds might change. And I just feel like, you know, you can you can throw stuff around, but I like these thresholds, and I'm going to explain to you why right after this. Bam! Here we go. Um, I don't know why it, it decided that it, just, that it just wanted to go away, but we're going to go back in here, and we're going to just show y'all straight up what's going on. I don't know why all my stuff just went away, man. That was weird. But check it out. Bam. You got, uh, this is all the stuff while it's populated. We're going to hop over here, and I'm going to go through everything. Look, the only reason Close Shot is up, I'm going to be real with y'all. Close Shot is something that you are going to be able to use because pump faking is not dead. A lot of times you're going to go down there, you're going to get a little guard on you, you can pump fake him, and then when he flies by or does whatever, then you can go up with it. You got to be able to do that. But that Close Shot it actually goes, it's tied to your three-point shot. So that's that's why close shot is at 50. It just is what it is. Driving layup is tied to your driving dunk. So you take that down, it's going to go down. So that's why that up. Standing dunk, when you go to 80 on the driving dunk, see, all of this stuff is perfectly tuned so that you can do what you need to do. Now, the only reason that I went with the 80 driving dunk, I really was going to go with 70 or 75. The reason that I went with 80 driving dunk was because last year I had a 70 driving dunk. And it was really hard to get away with going to the rim and attacking the rim. And, uh, you know, like on back doors and stuff like that, like he just would miss far too many of them. Or he would throw us a dunk that I didn't even have. Uh, and it just got irritating. So the reason that I went with 80 because I saw other people last year with 80 and they say that you're not going to miss dunks or get dunks blocked like that that much this year. So I felt like 80 was a safe place. If you want to go a little bit less than 80, by all means, go a little bit less than 80, but I'm just telling you why I went with 80. Uh, Mid-range, we went with 80 again on the mid-range just because I wanted my mid-range to be kind of close to the three because I didn't want a big time indifference. That's just it. You can go low on that if you want to. Some people going 70 on the mid-range. It's cool, but I also wanted, um, I just I just, I just just like to, I wanted to have enough badges because if you go down on that too much, then you get 21, and 79 gave me that, so I figured, hey, let's just go with 80 and, and we can get that. 85 three ball because if you go down on your three ball, you're going to lose you lose uh, limitless range on silver. So I just wanted to make sure we got limitless range on silver, but even the, how the game is looking right now, you might not even need limitless range if you know how to time your shots because shots are going in. Free throw, I just did that because the free throw is at 76 just because 
that's that's I had leftover points, and that's where I wanted to put them. Not even gonna lie to y'all. Uh, pass accuracy. We know that seventy pass accuracy right now. Seventy pass accuracy is literally almost the equivalent of bullet passer on go. So if you got seventy pass accuracy, you're good. Seventy ball handling. I just wanted to be able to be reliable with the ball. Sometimes this this year is more important than ever that you got some ball handling. Just because of the fact that if you have some ball handling and your point guard needs to give you the ball, you can hold the ball with some confidence and know that you're not just going to lose it. Plus, we're going to be getting rebounds. We wanted to get the vice grip on silver just because we don't want people to do, you know, steal the ball as soon as we get a board. And last but not least, you can get you can get um, floor general on silver if i'd have gone 79 pass seconds i, I could have got it on gold but you really don't even need it but you know you can help your team out you can get the needle, needle threader on silver uh you know stuff like that so that's some badges and then most importantly you can get bail out <laughs> that's the main thing you can get bail out on bronze but you know you just want to make sure that like i said i these are things that i like to have in my guy i like to run that floor general a little bit you know to get my my point guard a little extra something uh sometimes i like to run dimer because you know you relay passing um brute like to get on that rim like i said i like to do that uh i'm not gonna be really dribbling at all but i did want to get the quick first step so quick first step gonna be cool and bail out will be cool i won't be chaining anything or doing any killer combos that won't be the case um i might run unpluckable just so i can't get the ball stolen as much so you know i got some protection against it if you want to go to 75 ball handling because of that that's fine but uh you know you can take something down and that's gonna get you there but the reason that i did what i did is because i just wanted added ball protection so sometimes you know he got to come off the ball i got to give it hold the ball give it back didn't want to get it stolen immediately also speed with ball I really would have put it lower than that, but bro, I'm noticing, and if y'all if y'all are noticing this, y'all let me know. Speed with ball is not really as important as we thought it was going to be. It's just not. Like there are moves that get you moving, and you can, and that adrenaline plus the adrenaline bar, you can get to the rim. Uh, with this move, with this right here, you can come out the corner and do a couple moves, get yourself open, or get to the rim, or you can, uh, you know, get yourself open for a jump shot with this right here. You don't have to be that great because the guy that's going to be on you is probably going to be the off guard, so you don't have to. I mean, the on guard. The point guard, he's not going to have as high a defense, so you'll be able to do some stuff. Main thing, you can go by him and get to that rim on these back doors and stuff like that. Interior defense. I know I went OD on the interior defense, but the way that we play, we play a lot of front to back, so sometimes I'm going to want to be able to get down there. I don't want people to be able to just bully me because they say, hey, he's, six, you know, he's a guard. I'm going to be able to bully him. I don't want him to think they can just bully me down there. So that's why I went with 83 interior defense. Plus, if I go down, I lose a badge. So that's that's the real reason. I had gone with just 80. But if you go with just 80, then you lose a badge. So that's why I put it there uh, on that. 97 perimeter defense for obvious reasons, bro. I, I, wanted, I wanted to have a Hall of Fame challenger, and I wanted to have Hall of Fame clamps. You got to have 97 perimeter defense uh, for that. Now, still, I went with 95, and the reason that I went with 95 is this. I had 99 steals last year, and steals weren't even like that in the game. Like, you couldn't even really get steals like that. So, with a 99 steal, that was way overkill. And my, this is my, this is my um, assumption right now. I'm able to get steals right now, and I think I got a 68 steal or something like that, maybe 70. I'm able to get steals when I'm just timing things properly and when they make a mistake. So if they leave it like that, I don't need Hall of Fame glove, right? But if they change it, then Hall of Fame glove is going to be overkill and it's going to end up feeling like wasted points. So the reason I did what I did with the steal is because right now I'm able to get steals. I felt like Hall of Fame would be overkill. And if they change anything, then it's going to be wasted points. And a lot of people felt like they wasted steal last year. So, you know, that's why I did that. Block. The reason I put block there was because I just wanted an 80 block. I feel like, uh, you know, chase downs are going to be kind of important. And I wanted chase down on um, on goal. You only need a 75 block to get chase down on goal so you can drop that down if you want to. I didn't want to do that because 
I feel like that, 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 that there are thresholds. And so I feel like 80 block is going to be something where I can get a very good contest. Because, you know, your block is part of your contest. So I feel like I'm going to be able to get a very good contest if I get switched on to the center down low. And he might just pick me up and put me in the rim. That might happen. So, you know, we don't know that. Offensive rebounding. This is one of the things, like I said, you can take these down. These are the things where people are probably not going to want. But right now, with the amount of bricks being shot, I know my guard, my point guard, is so happy that I got 80 offensive rebounds because I'm getting heller, and I mean heller offensive rebounds over everybody that didn't that didn't put any defensive. Because you know you got so many guards that are not gonna put on no defensive rebound. If you got 80 offensive rebound and that little guard is down there with you, because that's who's gonna be holding you in the corner, you're gonna out rebound him every time. If you and your band, because you know the uh, what you call it is gone. Uh, the instant green is not there, so we're crashing for every board. If me and Gambit down there, we're getting two or three shots at the rim every time. And with the amount of bricks going up right now, this is this is luxury for us. And then I got 93 uh, defensive rebound because I wanted gold rebound chaser. See, if I go down one tick, can't get it. So I wanted 93 because I wanted gold rebound chaser because that is going to help me with offensive rebounds when it comes down to it. And then at the same time... um. You know, it's going to help me secure and close out defensive possessions. There's nothing worse than you being down there on the center and you can't really do anything uh, because because of that. Now, I will share with you guys a secret. I, you can get Box Out Beast on, on Hall of Fame if you just move one of these points. So if you say, I, I don't think I need 80 uh, defensive rebounds, so I'm going to take that down one, and then you're going to put it here. Um, you can you can you can switch it up so you can so you can you can take that down and then put that point here But you're gonna lose something if you do that. So that's why I didn't do it I, I figured box out beast on gold should be good enough I might need it on Hall of Fame, but we're gonna see how gold does and then also, you know I wanted to have uh, I wanted to have pogo stick because sometimes you do have to jump and you just don't want to and then last but not least man We just went through the little stuff right here speed 86 uh, it can actually get to 87 if you want to, but I figured I just I just saved that speed point and I put it there. Acceleration 81. The reason I put it at 81, I think the max that it could go to was 83. And y'all know I get plus four anyway on acceleration, so it's gonna be 85 excel, uh, 85 excel, 86 speed. So I mean, and 90 speed once I do the plus four, so that'll be cool. Strength's gonna be 70 once you do that. Vertical be 70, and uh, I can't get the real, I can't get the crazy dunks anyway. And quick drops off uh, with this one, you're not going to be able to get limitless takeoff really like that anyway uh, because you don't have enough bash points. So I'm just like, whatever. And stamina, we put it to 95, obviously, because you get plus four, it's going to be 99. And then that made us, with this, I did enhanced jump shot contest, enhanced jump shot contest. Probably don't even need that right now because of the amount of bricks going up. So I would probably say extreme clamps, extreme clamps. You could really do that and uh, and go from there. And then what this is going to give you, man, is going to give you a two-way shooter. And um, like I said, it's shades of, of Lonzo Ball, Jason Kidd, DeJounte Murray. But uh, I'm going to say it's more like Kawhi because you can really get busy with this dude, man. But, hey, it, 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 I ain't going to say it's Jason Kidd because, like, he he's, he, he's too versatile for that, man. Not going to lie to y'all. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you drop a like on this joint. If you got any questions or, you know what I'm saying, if you, if you, if just make sure you hit up me up in the Discord. The Discord link is down in the uh, description. It's going to be a bill that's patch proof. And I promise you, with the rebounding, your guard will thank you because you're going to be getting hella offensive rebounds over those little guards, giving you guys second chances. And like I said, with the way that this game is right now, second chance points come at a premium and they really really help to secure games we had games yesterday we down 19 to, to 15 or something like that able to come back because we could just keep taking threes because we knew we we're gonna get the offensive rebound so you know it is what it is anyway let me know what you think down in the comment section man hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ